Instead of just having cells on a worksheet, you can change a list into a formatted and named Excel table. That makes it easier to work with the data because it will expand automatically and if you create formulas they'll fill down automatically. I'm going to show you quickly how to create a table and then what to do if it stops filling in those rows below or filling in the formulas. So with this list I've got headings across the top and there are no blank rows. I'm going to create a table from this range of cells. So I'll select any cell in the range and on the Home tab I'll click Format as Table and I'll select this blue table. This little dialog box asks me where the data is and just confirm that that's correct. It does have headers and click OK. And if I click in the row below to put in some September data, it will automatically expand. So we can see this little mark in the corner that shows where the table ends. I'm going to type September and as soon as I press tab, it fills in this formula for me and you can see that it's come down a row so the little mark has changed. You saw that it automatically put in the VLOOKUP formula here and also if I start a new formula I'm going to multiply the number of cases times the case price. And as soon as I press enter it fills down to the very last row so it makes it very efficient to work with your data. But I'm going to change a setting in Excel and show what can happen. So I've changed the setting in the background and now if I try and put in October it doesn't expand the table. It didn't come down a row. It just it's really ignoring that data that I just put in there. And if I put in a tax formula, so I say that this is equal to the total price times 5%. When I press enter now, it's not going to fill down. It just sits there in the top cell. So what's happened is that in the background I changed a setting and this can happen accidentally or you could manually change this and not realize the effect. I'm going to delete that October. To change the setting manually so it goes back to recognizing new rows and formulas, I'm going to the File menu and go down to Options and in here select Proofing and we're going to the Autocorrect Options. So click the button and here we can see Autocorrect. We want this tab Auto Format as you type and there are check marks here that have been removed and this is going to include new rows and columns in the table and fill formulas in tables. So I'll put a check mark back in both of those, click OK and close this dialog box and now when I type October 1st and press enter we can see that the table has expanded. And If I take this out so now I have a blank formula column. I'm going to put in my tax formula again. I'll press enter and it should fill down. So there, we've gone back to automatic formulas and automatic expanding of the table when we put in some new data. So if you're having trouble with Excel recognizing new data, check those settings to make the change manually. And if you run into this frequently, you can also create a little macro that turns those settings on or off. And I've got that example on my website on the Excel Tables page. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.